We got a fully charged GoPro today. Hopefully this battery doesn't die. But anyways, guys, we are starting this video off with the 240. Currently kind of my favorite car. This may kind of take its place once we get those couplers in and stuff, but don't worry, she's not forgotten about. It's just the couplers were on like back order and stuff. And there's still like a few little things I gotta do. Like I need new boots for my axles and stuff, but she's just sitting there pretty. I kept her in the shop for the winter. But um, right now, what we're trying to figure out is I'm about to order some RPF ones for the rear, but I don't know if I wanna go with nine and a halfs or nines. So what we actually ended up doing was we took the front left wheel off and we're gonna put it in the back and just see on one side how it looks. This is a 17.9 with a 22 offset. So we're gonna see what it looks like right now. Maybe even adjust the coilovers a bit, make it a little lower and see really where we need to correct because the front fitment, dude, I'm gonna keep saying it. This is probably the third video of me saying it. It's absolutely fire. And yes, we read your comments. Will, we gotta stop assuming, man. We gotta stop. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> now no. I see the RPF ones. <laughs> These no. look way different. We assume a lot. We do assume. But hey, it works good. Like people were like, man, that was cringe. But at the end of the day, like it didn't burn the paint. It didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I understand it's cringe. No, I yeah, him, I, I do like, too. We always got to find a way to do something fucking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was reading the comments. So I was like, man, what did we do that was so wrong? And I looked it up on how to do it. And I'm like, oh shit. We really did make a mistake there. But it was a mistake, but it ended up working anyway, so it didn't Doesn't really matter. matter. Maybe took an extra 10 minutes. Regardless, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lower the car right now and um, see what she looks like. All right, so we'll take a look at the front one more time, just cause I'm a butt hurt. So that's the front, we still need alignment, ignore that. And yeah, I think for the back, we're gonna end up going with a nine and a half. We could cheat and use spacers, but if I have to order new wheels anyways, there'd be no point of getting the wrong size. But um, yeah, we can definitely fit another half inch here. So we're gonna do a nine and a half, or a 17, nine and a half, 22 in the rear. And then this thing is gonna be looking buttery, dude. I'm really, really considering on getting this thing wrapped. Me and Will are kind of contemplating with some colors. I don't know, I mean, if we can find that color we talked about. No, oh, yeah. I think, cause I think we have the same vision, but we just have to find that in the wrap color. It shouldn't be hard. <sighs> Dude, it'd be sick. It's a little hot boyish. Yeah. It's a little hot it's boy. Little, dude, it's sick though. It and is dude, sick. you know what I just realized? Huh. Someone we know has a car looking like somewhat like that. Doesn't start with a D, right? Huh? Doesn't start with a D, right? Does it? No, that's not the color I'm talking about. Hold on, we're, we're on a separate page, one sec. All right, we're on the same page. It's yeah. funny that I was thinking a D and you were. Two different Ds, but same, same. Yeah, same, but different. Yeah, yeah, same, same, but different. Yeah, same, same, different, different. Um, I don't know, we're gonna actually put that in the front now. I kind of have the inf information that I need now because that really doesn't fit. So we're gonna order those right now. 240 is done for now. I actually have to call someone to align this thing because I want to drift, I want to go drifting. All right. Still talking about wheels here. So we found um, 17, nine and a half with an 18 offset. These are 17, nine with a 22 offset. So technically these should be the same as the nine and a half, 18 with a 10 mil spacer. So right now we're just putting a 10 mil spacer on the rear to, and putting this wheel on it and seeing how it looks. Cause theoretically it should look the same as when the nine and a half gets here. So before we go ahead and we order anything, we're just testing some wheel specs and seeing how it fits. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. We're definitely gonna have to get a little bigger tire, but this is with a 10 mil spacer. Um, the other one I grabbed, it was a 15 mil and it was kind of sticking out a little bit, but this one's an actually 10 mil. So I think, I don't know, but part of me wants to do 18. But looking at it right here. It does, it looks small seat, though. Like popping the seat, that, just, that view looks good. With a little, like, I don't know. It just looks small, doesn't it? Am I crazy? I don't know. Like if we I just get the this, 18. I think this a little lower. You think that'll look better? I, I think, think it would look way, yeah. I think it's also because you're dealing with this versus yeah. the front. Like the front's so perfect and the back is just lacking. Uh, but if the front, was, if the rear was lowered a little. 
Yeah, but if it was lowered a little bit on 18s, if it was an 18, 9 and a half, 22. You don't have that right? No. Nope. Uh, I don't know. We're going to keep playing around with this because I don't want to make the wrong choice here. Let's, let's bring the 370 in. We got to put a spacer on that anyways. See what that looks like because the 370 is... You know, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's gross, but whatever. It's a wheel day, folks. We got a 25 mil spacer. You're saying this needs to go lower? I've never heard you say that before. Totally, like, if you want to look good. I can't believe you think this is high. I thought this was like pretty low, no? Dude, you just said it was high. I could put my entire ass hand in it. I said the wheels look small. That's what I said. I didn't say the car was high up. Yeah, I mean, you can't do anything about It's that. crazy because you can't go up because if you go to a 19, you can't get tires. I think a 265.40 would be the move. Yeah, maybe the 35 is just too thin. I mean, it's fine. And also, we're like three feet away. Of it looks a shit ton better with that 25 mil spacer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But also, black wheels are tough because they make it look a lot smaller. Yeah, you know? I could see that. Like, this is an 18 and that's an 18, and those look massive. Compared it to is that. a big difference. Yeah. And they're the same size tire, too. Oh, that's a 35 as well? 65-33. I thought he was going to say, I know. I like was. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know it is. 25 is a move. Yeah. Maybe we do have to go a little lower. Maybe. We do. Are it just looks... The front? It looks like a fucking donut. So dude. mine's 18, 9 and a half, 12. Yours 18, 9 and a half, 22. Yeah, so yours will stick out more. Millimeters. See, I fucked up. I told you that, and you're like, I'm going to go 22. Well, And they yeah. had these in that size, and you're like, I'm going to go 22. I justified it by I can just space it down if I had to. Space it out. Yeah, but dude, we all knew that these were going to be sunk. And you're call telling that I'm a fucking asshole. I didn't, I didn't call you, you did. an asshole. You did. I just you said, said, hey, we should have went with a 10 and a half. But then you, then the stretch would look dumb. I the personally think a ten and a half on a two six five wouldn't have looked bad. It's harder to put tires on a ten and a half. Like there's a bunch of reasons you wouldn't do that. I wouldn't have gone black wheels. They look cool. I thought silver and black would go look good, and I think it does. Look but like I just steelies. think it looks small. It looks like there's a donut back yeah. there. The front looks even worse. The front, the stre the stretch doesn't look good. The stretch on such a big car. The stretch ruins that front look for sure. And I, that's take, crazy you coming take from the me. front and put it on the back of your 240. Because that's a, <laughs> that's a 235. We're really swapping around. Do yeah. you know what I mean though? No, I do. I, I guess we're going to try it because I'm just trying to. I was trying to see how I like the Even double staggered tucks. look. This looks sick. At first I didn't like it, but looking around Even at different angles. Tucks. You're an idiot. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm, so I'm an idiot. Annoyed. I'm so annoyed because you're like telling me that the nine, dude. He was telling me nine twenty two looks sunk, and that a nine and a half eighteen would just be too far. He needs a nine and a half twenty two, which is a four. This is a twenty two. With a fucking I'm saying two eighteen. It's five. Yeah, an 18, or a, yeah, 18 offset is going to stick out. Four mils, dude. We're talking four Dick mils, head. dude. Dickhead. We're talking four mils. That's four mils, bro. Dickhead. Five credit cards. You ready? Dickhead. This is a 265 tire. Yeah. You're not trying to tuck the lip of the wheel. No. You're trying to tuck the tire. Mm -hmm. You're putting a 225 on. Yeah. How many credit cards is that, <laughs> shit bag? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 40. It's... <laughs> You're putting a way smaller tire and it even tucks this tire. I know, I guess you're right. I know, I am right. I'm always fucking right. No, you're not always right. I'm pretty off. You say your fucking knife was four millimeters thick. You're now way than four. Get a four mil. No, this is four I mils. I have a four mil wrench. I I'm sorry, we're at five. I told you. No, I, told I you. just moved. I told you. This is five. four mils. Wow, what a difference. One mil. Five. You want to put that? I'm not going to blur anything out, so watch what you put up. <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> I'm going to put four because I don't trust you. It's, it's, it's five. Four. It's five. I know. Re I already did it. <laughs> Re regardless. Regardless. <laughs> that is what we're talking about when you're putting a 225 on and you fit a 265. So do you they. fit that. So we'll get an 18, so nine and a half, 18. Yeah, and it'll with be a 245. With a 245. Yeah, I just won't drift those until I go um, turbo. I'll just drift the stock GTR wheels for now. That's it. And this will just be my look, you know? My looker. This thing looks like shit. 
Not when hot it's wrapped, dude. We're going hot boy. We're doing two wrap jobs, E30 and S14. They're all gonna look bad, like every other wrap job we've ever gotten. What? The purple good. E36 looked good. Looked like shit. Really? Did you not like the purple? To like black cherry. Did you not like the purple? I liked it. I thought it was no, sick. Are you kidding it, me? But it's just like from going from a black car. I understand it's not a drastic difference. It was zero. In the difference. sun, it, it was, was a like big this. difference. In the sun, it was a big difference. Sure. What color? You better be going with a way different color with this. Fire. Go yellow. Maybe. He doesn't even know. Or give a fuck. Or also doesn't give a fuck. This thing what? looks like shit. Sticker. It's a fucking sticker. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's proven to last. I think we're gonna go with 18s in the rear. You're just, huh, you're- It's almost you're, as if someone else told you to do that. Well, really dude, I have to, off. I have to look at all my options here. I have the wheels, dude, I okay, might as well try them. Two ago, you came to my office and said, we don't want it just looked we big. Like it, it just looked big, but now that I'm looking around it, I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. That's what he said. I know. Me and don't like it. Regardless, we're gonna put the fronts on the rear of this and see what put the, the smaller tire on looks. The front and see what it looks like with all 18. We're gonna do both. Do it now. Yeah, we're gonna. Wow, holy crap! Like these look way better on this than the th Z. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Way look at better. look at this front fitment, dude. It's so good, and we don't know if this is. It's probably gonna rub, but dang, I dude, I've never been a fan of the murder. Like, look at look at this right here, and then look at that. Well, it's jacked up, but I get I get what you mean. You know what I mean? No, it, the problem is this car is so big. It's huge. It's huge. It's a huge car, and you can't go a bigger tire. Or a bigger wheel, because then you can't get tires, like good tires, you know. It's tough. I don't know what to. So, I'm I don't know. Almost, I'm wondering if like the lip on these helped it make look it like made it look bigger. Yeah, like the know? offset. Yeah. yeah. So this is a twenty by nine. I don't really know the offset, but I don't know. Some people said they didn't like these. I like these more than these on the car. No. But these just aren't practical for no, what not I'm doing. Practical, but. Something about them is a little weird. Yeah. The good thing about 350Zs is I think they're a lot less wider. Yeah. So, so like an fit. 18 looks good. Like, like Adam yeah. has a 350. Dude, Grant's running an 18.9 zero offset. This it is, is an 18.9.5 given the offset's a 22. But his fit perfect. 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 Flush. These were like two inches sunk, which is wild. Dude, I can't get over this though. Sorry, this is kind of a wheel video. This is kind of an important thing. What are you doing? I just want to see the look. Why are you doing that? I just want to see the look. We know it's going to look awful, dude. It's not like the style wheel. I don't even know if that 17 would fit over that rope. <laughs> Go, honestly, just bolt it up and put it down real quick. Because now I'm curious. You got me curious. But... <sighs> I think the final decision is going to be a 17, 9 with a 22 offset in the front. Those wheels, go ahead, lower it. <laughs> Just looks small. Looks really small. But I don't mind the style wheel. Dude, RPF 1s look good on anything. No. Honestly, maybe RPF 1s would have been a better choice. Like, I think I like those more than these. <laughs> I think it's also the black too. Oh, I took a big the gamble. Is, the black looks good on Yeah, that. I never liked the murdered outlook, but this looks it looks so tough. Like the like the wheels and the tire, like like the black pops on this, but then when you go to this, it's just like Ugh. It's like the black blends with the black. Yeah. No, I I feel that. Because here you see all the different colors of black. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Shit, man. I don't know. But 17. 18 in the back, so we're gonna do 18, nine and a half, 22, or 18, sorry, because four mils, not a big not a big deal. Why are we fighting over five credit cards, you know? Exactly. So, I mean, if we can fit the 265 when we put a 235, it should be perfect. So I think that's our final decision. Honestly, I, I can't wait to actually get this thing aligned. I'm gonna try to shoot, shoot for that tomorrow and um, see if we can drive on these, because this stretching. Dude, it's perfect, but it looks so dumb on that. It looks good on this. It's crazy, like, on this car, you can't even really tell the stretch. You know, like, on that car, like, it looks crazy. You know what I'm yeah, trying to say? Yeah. Like, it just does, it looks right here. 
you know, fix the car. Like it looks so, maybe because it's hiding a lot of the tire on this than that. Like you see the whole tire there. Yeah. So I don't know. This looks so good. I can't get over it that. Does look super good. Fuck. Throw it down in the comments what you guys think. But I think 18 in the rear, double staggered, 18 offset, nine and a half. I think that's going to be good on a 235. Have a tiny bit of stretch, maybe. I think that's a stretch. And we'll be pretty gooch. No, yeah, well, it is a stretch because that's what that is. Let's now put that on that and see what this looks like back there because that's the exact tire I'll get for that. I'm really sorry, but this is, just has to happen. So we made the decision. We're going double staggered. It only took all day to figure that out. Not all day because I got here super late because my ankle sucks, but that doesn't matter. So this is the um, 9.5, 18, 22 with a 235 on it. And the ones that I'm getting, they're 18, four millimeter difference. It shouldn't be that bad, especially with the 235. Like, dude, we are fitting for days. Like, look, I have so much room in here, it's not even funny. And a 235 is good. Like, not ideal for drifting because we're in the NA um, S15 SR. But, I mean, I'm not even going to drift with these anyways. I got all these GTR spares, which now that we're... <laughs> Now that we're comparing wheels, this side looks, we don't even want to talk about this side, but that's the conclusion. We're gonna, I'm gonna order the RPF ones right now. Hopefully they get it, get here sometime this week. Wow, you can almost not see the wheel in the GoPro from this angle, but I think, I think that's a good choice. You agree? Yeah. Yeah, no, that looks real good. Yeah, I, I can't wait till we get an alignment so I can actually drive the 18s because if they fit, I might just run those and just get new wheels for that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm really buying a bunch of wheels. <laughs> we don't even have enough room for all of this. I know. <laughs> like, look at all, those. all of those. We have a bunch out there. <laughs> I know. It's not okay. It's really not. But um, okay, Mako guy just got here, so I'm gonna go. Um, probably make a bad decision. Holy cow, literally uh, not even exaggerating, a 10 minute car ride, and this car has this much salt on the back of the trailer. That is insane. Welcome to Connecticut, folks. But anyways, um, dropping this car off the alignment shop, it's right down there. We're gonna get this thing aligned so we can actually drive it. God damn it, nothing is ever easy. I just had to go to the parts store, had to go to Home Depot real quick. Literally on my way to the shop, Mavis calls me, can't put your car on it car is too low so I'm over here at Advanced Auto Mavis is right there I mean I'm just gonna take the bumper off I don't really know what else to do I mean their alignment rack I always go to them because it's super low it's like honestly pretty good and like I asked if I can kind of use my wood and just get it up there because I'm certain it would get up I mean I think it would get up just as is I mean it rubs on my trailer it is what it is low life but um gotta take the bumper off damn it it's all wet on the ground god damn it all right well that was fun i didn't know this but i do now you gotta take the entire front end off to get the damn bumper off um all the hardware right here there's actually a little more i put all of the hardware for the headlights with the headlights and um yeah they this thing has clearance for days i mean they should have no issue getting this thing on now so hell yes what a fucking nightmare thank god i carry around this craftsman toolkit with me stoked all right, round two with the 240. Hopefully it works this time. There's the alignment rack. Like, it's at like a angle like this. I mean, it's not the best thing for low cars, but if you have no bumper, definitely have no issue. Time to go back to the shop. Bumper's all strapped down so we don't have a catastrophic nightmare. And uh, now we can finally go back. If I get a phone call from Mavis, I'm not gonna be a happy camper, but 240's gone, so I think I think they got it on unless I'm about to get a phone call in about the next 10 seconds here. Imagine if you started hearing my phone ring, dude. I'd be so upset. All right, let's see. We're going to make the drive by, boys. Oh, there's a curb there. Okay, I'm running over a curb. I didn't know that. Whatever. Fuck them. Truck life. <laughs> oh, there goes the truck. There goes my whole box of shit. Woo! Great day. Great day. All right, door's still open. It looks like, looks like she made it on. All right, they probably feel bad for me because I was just out there for 20 minutes ripping that front end apart. So I'm stoked though, I'm 
Suck that we had to do that, but at the end of the day, we're getting the alignment. That's all that fucking matters. 20 minutes of my day, not too big of a deal. Let's let's go over to the shop. All right, guys, so I wanted to bring the 370Z out just so we can get with the glam cam um, to see what this like actually looks like because I feel like the GoPro doesn't do it justice. Like After we added the 25 mil spacer in the back, to be honest, I actually do like it now. The wheels, they look like a little small, but we're gonna be adding coilovers to this very soon right now. It's got the tine suspension. It, they look like coilovers, but you can really only adjust the preload. So it's kind of like lowering springs in like a coilover form. It's a little weird, but you can't really lower it with, unless you want to ruin the preload, which I don't want to do. But we're going to take some glam real quick just so you guys can actually see the car. Um, it's crazy what black wheels do, man. You really can't even see them. It's kind of wild, but enjoy. So I think that just about wraps up that video. Will's currently picking up the 240 from the alignment shop, so that's gonna be all aligned and all good to go. So definitely stoked on that. Find out in tomorrow's video what's going down with this thing, and I'm very, very, very excited. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.